I'm hyperventilating a little bit. If I fall over, pick me up because I've got some things to say. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. So when we're marching and protesting and posting about the Michael Brown Juniors and the Tatiana Jeffersons of the world, tell your friends to pull up. I am here because I have to show my parents that I am their daughter and that they did not raise me to accept abuse from men. And until we meet again, the marathon continues. forever. and every little child that no matter where you're from your dreams are valid thank you you know we as women we as minorities sort of uh, we underestimate in ourselves and that is I, I'm pretty smart I work pretty hard um, I'm, I'm good at what I do I, I have really good instincts I have great ideas and I can execute. This and I say that out loud because we as women don't like back. pat ourselves on the back. We're always sort of deferring. How they hold you like a gun. And I want young girls out there to know what's in your brain is, is really like useful. Do not hide it. I don't don't dumb it down. Don't apologize for it. Just put it on the table and let people deal with it. I'm here to say that I am not sorry for being inconvenient. You were not put on this earth to make everybody else's life easier, so please be inconvenient. If we want to change the world, we have to do it ourselves, and I think we are, and I think we will. Women need a seat at the table, and in some cases, where this isn't available, well then you know what, then they need to create their own table. People ask me sometimes, when, when do you think it will be enough? When will, it, will there be enough women on the court? And my answer is, when they're alive. My mom said to me, you know, sweetheart, one day you should settle down and marry a rich man. And I said, Mom, I am a rich man. I come Kamala Davy Harris, I solemnly swear. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it.